Let's go ahead and very quickly talk about some of the types of series that we'll encounter in a Calculus 2 course, in a typical Calculus 2 course. So the first type of series, uh, these are in no particular order. The first type of series uh, is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to positive infinity of r raised to the n. And this is called a geometric series. So this is uh, very heavily related to geometric progressions, which you may have talked about in, say, like an Algebra 2 course way back in high school. Um, so the sum from n equals 0 to positive infinity of r to the n, that's a geometric series. Uh, now we started n at 0, but we could start it really at 1, 2, 3, wherever we want really. So what does a geometric series look like? Well, if we were to expand this series out, uh, it would look like r to the 0 plus r to the 1 plus r squared plus dot dot dot, which would be r to the 0 is just 1. Okay, so that's just 1 plus r to the 1st is r, r plus r squared plus dot dot dot. So that's a geometric series, okay? So there's also something called a P series. So let's use a different color for that. So if we say the sum from n equals one to positive infinity of one over n to the P, where P, uh, P represents a fixed number. So this is called a P series. Write this down here, a P series. So this uh, is going to be, so if n is 1, we have 1 over 1 to the p plus 1 over 2 to the p. That's a p. Yikes. Plus 1 over 3 to the p plus dot, 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 which simplifies uh, ever so slightly to 1 plus 1 over 2 to the p plus 1 over 3 to the p plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. So that's a p series. And by the way, uh, geometric series and p series, they both have special conditions under which they actually converge and under which they diverge, and we'll talk about those when we get to the respective videos for these types of series. So this is a p-series. Okay, so we have a geometric series up here, and we have our p-series down here. Oops. Now, um, another type of series is called an alternating series. So let's go ahead and put that up here, which is kind of all over the place. So what we have is the sum from n equals, uh, let's say, 0 to positive infinity of negative 1 to the n times a to the n. So this, if we expand that out, well, first of all, that's called uh, an alternating series. Alternating series. So why is it called that? Well, let's see what happens if we expand this out. So when n is 0, we have negative 1 to the 0. Negative 1 to the 0 is just 1. So this is uh, a sub 0. Okay, And then what happens next? Well, when n is 1, what happens when n is 1 in the next term? Then we have negative 1 to the first, which is negative 1. So this is actually minus a sub 1. And then when n is 2, we have negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. So when n is 2, we have plus a sub 2. And then this pattern is going to continue. Minus, oops, uh, minus a sub 3, plus a sub 4, minus a sub 5, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now again, we started this series at n equals 0. There's really no particular reason we have to. We could start at n equals 1, 2, 3, uh, 4,000, and so on and so forth. Okay, but this is called an alternating series because notice the terms alternate and sign. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and then that pattern would keep continuing. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So that's why it's called an alternating series. So just like geometric and p-series, alternating series also have um, conditions under which they converge. It's a little more complicated uh, as compared to geometric and p-series, but it's still doable. They're still possible to analyze. So another type, the last type that we're going to list, is called uh, power series, and that's something like this. Sum from n equals, let's say, 0 to positive infinity of a sub n times x to the n. So notice the difference here is we have x, which represents a variable in like a function. So this is a uh, power series. Oops. This is a power series. And if we were to expand this, we would get a sub 0 x to the 0 plus a sub 1 x to the first plus a sub 2 x squared plus dot dot dot, which simplifies ever so slightly to a sub 0. Well, x to the 0 is just uh, 1 as long as x is not 0. Okay, but more details on that when we actually talk about power series. So that's just a sub 0 times 1, which is just a sub 0. And then plus a sub 1 times x, x to the first is just x, plus a sub 2 x squared plus dot dot dot. 
Okay, so a power series, um, what this this is sort of lays the groundwork for something called Taylor series, uh, which is a much more advanced uh, and somewhat more difficult topic compared to these other ones anyway, but still not too bad in its own right. Um, power series sort of lay the groundwork for Taylor series, and Taylor series themselves lay the groundwork for uh, many, many applications in more advanced math. Um, so pretty interesting stuff, but anyway, we'll talk about that later. So this is just some special types of series, uh, geometric series, P series, alternating series, and power series. Um, just some of the special types of series that will be encountered in the Calculus 2 course, and we'll start talking about some of these uh, individually in later videos.